Hi, this is an interview for Edularity. Today we are with Laura Bauman. When you're trying to own school, you try to respect the biological time of a kid. There's a lot of people saying kids should have a schedule and discipline. On the <laughs> own schooling side, we are just like, let the biological clock mm. of the kid decide. Yes. So as far as like bedtimes and when they're hungry and watching TV and playing video games, all of these types of things, if we try to control Control, I feel that there is this taking away of their autonomy and taking away their own sense of self and like, oh, they're saying I'm supposed to eat now, so I don't trust my body anymore to tell me if I'm hungry or if I'm tired. So I think trusting your child to trust themselves, to pay attention to their body, I think is so important because we lose touch with listening to ourselves as we get older, especially those of us who have been through school and we have had that very rigid structure. I remember when I was in college and it was time for me to do my independent studies. I was paralyzed because my entire life had been structured and I'd had a syllabus and I had been told what to do, when to do it all the time. And I never really learned how to use my time without being told what to do. And so it was a huge adjustment. And I think when kids can learn to trust themselves to make their own schedules and things like that, it's very important. I remember one question I got, people would say, and they were so concerned with this was, what about when they get a job? How will they get get up in the morning? How will they manage their time? <laughs> they just do. <laughs> they're 15, 16 years old, and they've had this lifetime of trusting themselves, and they're getting a job in most cases because they want to, not necessarily because they have to. And sometimes they do have to, and that's okay too. But there is that motivation. They'll set their alarm clock if they need it. And in the beginning, when it was very new, I did. I would go in and say, hey, remember that you work today? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I know. My alarm clock set. Go away, mom. I've got five more minutes. I've never really had had to be after them or anything like that. Like, oh, you're going to be late or get up. They just do. The only time I've ever had to get my kids up in the morning for something is when they've stayed up really, really late, even knowing that the next day we had some event scheduled that was in the morning. And they're just like, oh, why did I stay up so late? But they get up because it's something they want to do. So there's that motivation. You probably know more unschoolers, which are adults now. What have you been seeing about them related to jobs? Do they look for jobs or are they more on the entrepreneurial side, trying to create their own stuff? I've seen a little bit of both. Two of my kids, my oldest boys, they are in a band together. They have jobs, but they also go on tour. And that I see as being very entrepreneurial. My oldest son wants music to be his main career eventually. I have friends who have decided to go to college and get a job later, and they live at home and go to school and continue their education that way. And some go right into starting their own business. I think that it's very individual. I think it's very easy to want to put unschooled kids into this big lump and say, oh, all unschooled kids are going to turn out this way. Some new unschooling parents are looking for that, though. They want to know, is it going to be okay? And the truth is, there's no guarantee because children are so individual, just like we are. And just because we raise them this one way doesn't mean there's going to be this particular turnout. They're going to be successful in school, or they're going to be an entrepreneur, they're going to get out there and work a really successful job. There's all different types of people, all different ways to, to come out. Like, I have three kids. Kids, and they've all been raised very similarly. <laughs> you know, the first child is a little different. You're learning and the second and the third. But for the most part, parenting wise, it's been very similar. And they all are very different. They have different personalities, their own unique people. Right. It is like when you go to school, they graduate and they are all different. Some of them become entrepreneurs and some of them don't. It has nothing to do with unschooling, correct? Right. Right. Are you listening? Damn.